Hey, what's up everybody? Um, Lewis back with another tutorial with uh, in regards to uh, Magento XML. As always, first I always like to give a shout out uh, 400 and, yeah, 435 subscribers uh, and you guys are all awesome. But anyway, I'm going to make this one uh, you know, a little quicker than usual. Uh, I noticed in the uh, past tutorial I was kind of going on a rant. But I just wanted you to, to understand how important the uh, XML part really is. So uh, last time I believe we made this into a two-column layout. I, there was a uh, third shitty column over here. So uh, instead of changing the layout, what I want to show you now is kind of how the uh, the XML nodes work. So let's take a look at this page. And you see over here, there's the standard uh, Magento picture with the dog, um, customer service. I notice it's on the bottom left, it's linking to uh, the shopping cart for some reason. Um, so <coughs> this is pretty much useless, you know, got to do away with it. So uh, how would we go about doing that? Well, first... Let me load up the uh, template path hints and just show you something. Alright. So this uh, is directly from uh, custom theme template callouts left call. Alright, so let's go ahead and go there. So we're going to go to app design. Front end default custom theme. Close that for now. Template callouts left call. Now, a lot of people, if you were to ask them, okay, well, you know, remove this from the site, you know, this useless thing, they'll just start, you know, commenting things out and, you know, they'll do all that jazz and. They'll try that, um, and they'll probably make it so that uh, the PHP doesn't get executed, and uh, you know, go through these things. Or they might just try and delete this file. But I'm going to go ahead and back up there because that's really, really not the way to do it. So you'll notice right here we're on the category page. So Instead of last time where I removed an entire column, let's just look at removing just this. So, if you remember the category page, is under catalog and then category. And that's kind of how things are going to match up in XML uh, most of the time. So layout, I'm going to go ahead and go to catalog because that's where the category page is going to be. And we're looking for that left column. Well, let me just expand this for you here. It's pretty obvious right now uh, where this is coming from in the XML. We have the reference, name is left, and it has, you know, even the alt text is directly in the XML. So instead of commenting this out, over here, um, what I like to do is keep things uh, in the local XML as much as possible. Uh, that way, it's you know a lot cleaner. And as I mentioned in my last video, uh, local XML is the uh, last XML file to be rendered in regards to layout. So uh, we can just overwrite everything over here. So. Let's check that out. Now we're going to make a reference. Now if you notice in here, in the catalog, the reference name equals left. So that's referring to the left side. So in this catalog category default, we're going to do reference name equals left. Mm -hmm. 
And right here I'm going to show you pretty much one of the most basic things that you can do uh, with XML. And let's see. Which are we trying to... Okay. So the reference name is left. And then we have a block. And then all we need is the block's name. This is what it's trying to render. So let's go back to our local XML. So we have reference name is left. And then we're going to do remove name equals and then inside there that and then this is a self self closing uh, tag so we have remove name and the name right here is how you refer to other blocks within other XML files so this is how you reference this block in any other XML file that you're using so I was able to reference it right here in our local XML file. Now let's go back here and I'm going to refresh and hopefully that dog is gone. I'll even take off the uh, template path hands here. And good, the dog is gone. We still have these two functional things on the left side, the newsletter and the category. So let's dig a little deeper here. Uh, let's see what's what do we have, what do we have on the home page? Okay. Uh, all right. This PayPal logo. Um, let's say your site doesn't use PayPal, and I know it's very tempting to just go in the uh, uh, system configuration and turn off PayPal. Uh, but that's not always best practice, as as I mentioned in the last video. Uh, because if you happen to be, um, you know, transferring files or doing a deployment process, you don't want to have to remember if you're using two different databases. Uh, you wouldn't ha want to have to remember, okay, well, now we have to go in system config and do that during the site launch. You want to just all file based, especially if you're tracking using Git or something. So now accepting PayPal, let's figure out how to remove that one. And notice how we're on the home page, and this is PayPal partner logo. Now, this is going to be very obvious in the uh, in your layout files where you have your XML. You're going to see uh, a PayPal XML file. Now, let me go ahead and find. And this is a pretty fun secret. You see, the PayPal uh, partner logo is on a bunch of pages. So it's on the category pages. Um, it's not showing up for us on the category pages because I removed that entire column. But it was on, we just saw it on the home page. So this, and this is a cool secret, or not really a secret, this CMS index index always refers to the home page. So notice how it's saying reference name equals right. So if I, if what we want to do is remove it from the home page, we can go to our local home page and I'll just copy and paste this because it's easy. And instead of going into catalog uh, category default, this is for category pages. I can go to the home page and then notice how the reference name was for the right side. We're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to do reference name equals right <clears throat> just like it has it in the XML file. And then we're going to want to remove name equals um, and paste that in there. So <clears throat> the name being the identifier, we're just telling it to remove. 
So let's go back to that home page. I'll take off the template path hints. And PayPal is gone. And it's kind of a coincidence that PayPal and eBay, I think, broke apart a few days ago. Um, so notice what I did on... Do, do, do. Notice what I did here. This is referring to the home page. However, if you notice in PayPal, uh, in that XML file, it's also um, appearing in multiple other places. <clears throat> so, what if we want to get PayPal, you know, away from the entire site and not just the home page? Well, that's easy enough too. Instead of re uh, referencing the home page right here, we can just reference default and that means it'll get rid of it from everywhere so that's uh, yeah we're not limiting ourselves to just uh, removing it from the home page we're eliminating that PayPal logo from everywhere so I can go back here and it'll still be gone so I hope that part helps and I promised I would make this one quick, and that way I can come back at you with another one. I hope uh, this is, you know, easy enough to understand. Let me just tend to that. So, just to recap, we removed uh, that left callout with the uh, the stupid dog picture from the uh, category page. And then globally, using default, we remove that uh, PayPal logo. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.